Hey guys, I'm Eric, and we're going to keep that Sega Genesis train a rolling here on Retro Gaming Nerds. Hey guys, so we're going to be playing a classic arcade game that has been around for a long time, thanks to Midway. Um, it was also released by Trade West, so there's some legal stuff, people buying out, absorbing, stuff like that. Uh, the game is Super Off-Road. Um, now, this was released by Accolade back in the day, part of a huge arcade classic thing that they did. You know, just basically selling stuff. Marketing. Anyway, so the game is based off the concept of off-road driving or mud rallies and stuff. Here where I'm from in the Midwest, mud rallies are fun, they're exciting, and people like them. Not my thing, but still, they're popular. People go to them, they pay money to watch trucks run around and get muddy. Anyway, so that's what this game is about, and we're going to play it just because. All right, guys, so as you know, in our last episode, we tried to do a little something different. Uh, we're trying to add in a better view of what's going on on the screen because I don't use a video capture card at this time. So let's go ahead and get going with this classic game, Super Off-Road, released in 1992, Trade West Inc. So um, we have our scantily clad pretty girls standing there waiting for us. I'll hit enter. Uh, like a lot of Midway games back in the day and even today, I'm going to put in my initials. Choose button for acceleration. A. Nitro. We'll leave the music on just because. I have $100,000 right now to start off with, so I can upgrade a few things right off the bat. Um, we're going to do some upgrades right now off the bat to the tires and the shocks. Uh, this game also for you guys, Trade West also did the, uh, they kind of helped bring RC Pro-Am to this, uh, the show, uh, America. Um, granted, Rare technically offered that game on Nintendo, but who cares? Alright, so we're done here. Oops. And now let's start the race. I am the little bitty red truck. So yeah, as you guys can see, it is not an easy game to view, and the controls are crazy weird. You overdo it, you are screwed. Now there's some money up in that corner, I could try to go for it, but there's a problem with that. You put yourself at risk of losing whatever place you're in. And as you can see, I'm st I was in third, now I'm in fourth, so what the heck, let's go get that money. I am so going to lose. I have no nitro, nothing, I can't blast ahead. I am so far behind, guys, it's ridiculous. Yellow is not doing all that great themselves, but didn't matter. Yeah, that was horrible. I think at this point, we're going to buy some nitro. What do you guys think? Does that sound like a good idea? So, I mean, it sounds like a really good idea. I don't know about you guys, but the music has that country twang going on right now. Not a fan of that. I mean, obviously, they are catering to an audience. Well, guys, I am in a solid lead right now. Well, I was. Now I'm in second. But I have no more nitro. Now I'm in third. Now I'm 
a second again. Oh! Oh! Out of nowhere, the rookie sensation comes in for first! Woohoo! Pretty blonde girl on my arm. Alright, guys, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna do a little increase to speed and acceleration. Why? Because it sounds like a great idea because I want to go fast. Fast is good. So I'm going around the track. As you guys can see, the trucks love to bounce. Almost to the point of uncontrollability. The Once you get the hang of the control scheme and understand what does what and how and when you should do it and when you shouldn't, it's not too difficult. It's just as exciting as any other mud rally. Not really. That's, I don't think they're very exciting. At least... I mean, the music has that rockabilly kind of thing going on right now. So I got five nitros on me. Oh, well, that was a quick race. I came in second. So, um, with 100 grand, let's go ahead and jump that speed up some more. Because I still have four nitros from the previous race. Uh, here we go. Ah, this race wants to be difficult where there is uh, kind of a lack of representation of where the track boundaries are. We've got a pretty solid lead going on here. Controlling the race, coming around that corner, picked up a nitro, oh and I'm still second, not terrible folks, not terrible at all, uh, we're going to increase that acceleration now and we're going to see here, I'm going to buy a couple more nitros and let's start the next race. Just a lot of going around and around and around. I mean, at least it's more exciting than, uh, you know, NASCAR where, they, you know, left turn! Oh my god, he's taking a left turn! Wait a second, I'm taking a lot of left turns, I don't know. Never mind. Same thing. Just, yeah. Okay, I got money! Woo, more money! I like money! Money's awesome! Money buys things! I like buying things! Especially when it makes my vehicle go vroom vroom really fast and stuff. There's money all over the place! Here's some more money! Oh, you stupid yellow son of a gun! I came in third. That sucks. Horribly. But luckily I picked up $60,000 laying around on the track. Who leaves money laying around on the track? Seriously! Pick the crap up! All right, we're going to add some shocks, some tires. Maybe I won't bounce around so freaking much. My acceleration needs work because, yeah, blue just took the frick off. Hey, it was a shortcut and I totally did not take it. Yeah, guys, this game can be extremely difficult to play and control. Now that shortcut didn't do a squat for me. This one is a tough track. The narrow passages make it really, really difficult to control. I'm not going to come in in any decent place on this race. Yellow is so far ahead of me, it's ridiculous. Gray, I mean, had a lap on everybody. I got 20,000 bucks. Whoopie flippin' do. One more race, guys. Come on. I have no nitro. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. The way these fuck, uh, little trucks bounce around and everything, there is no way that that's good on them. Okay, I got stuck in the water traps. That's great. Freaking great way behind now. I haven't even completed two laps and here comes Gray on my butt. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I am so screwed. Gray is like coming up on me because they are accelerating redonkulously horribly fast. I mean, this is not realistic, guys. There is no flipping way. There is no way. I got lapped. That's how bad that was. I got lapped. And somehow I'm still in this. Explain to me how I'm still in this. There's no way. Sooner or later, some of you be like, dude, just just go. Leave. You're out of the race. You suck. You, you, you just don't. And this race is an X shape. Well, at least I'm keeping up here. I'm out of nitro, so there goes blue. Here comes yellow. Yeah, guys, see, this is where it gets really screwed up and unfair, that if you don't, aren't able to upgrade the right parts of your truck, and you've been spending time like this on this game, you just got to the point where you're now screwed. You're not going to place anywhere worth your time. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to necessarily call this a rage quit, but I'm done. I'm done. No more. I can't stand it. All right, guys, so... That was super off-road for the Sega Genesis. I don't like it. I hate this franchise. I hate these type of games. There's only a few others that are similar that I like. Oh, not even some. No, they're not. They're not. Because, I mean, RC Pro-Am, Rock and Roll Racing, those are not even the same category as this pile of crap. I mean, yes, it's a classic. There are people who loved it. But imagine it's difficult enough to control with the D-pad. Go to the arcade. If you're lucky, well, unfortunate enough to go to an arcade that has this thing standing in the corner, it uses steering wheels. Yeah. The manufacturer and developer and so on and so forth thought it would be brilliant to take this game, which is confusing enough, and slap on gas pedals and nitro buttons and a steering wheel. A steering wheel. I could see if this was like, you know, first person kind of perspective, like here's the steering wheel and you're driving along out onto the road. Not from a top down perspective. No. No, no. No. Graphically, the game is boring. Oh my god, it's boring. Yes, they're pretty graphics and there's colors and stuff, but if you like the color of mud, it's beautiful. Other than that, it's a lot of brown. Your your truck? I've almost seen more detail in an Atari 2600 game, folks. The controls beyond just the confusion of everything, the fact that your truck bounces around more than a Mexican jumping bean is ridiculous. It's horrible. The tr it, it all <sighs> ah! Ah! Mm! Bounce, 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 no control. If the trucks bounced around in real life like they did in this game, those trucks would be totaled within the first half lap. No realism whatsoever. I understand. Okay, Eric, it's a video game. It's an arcade game, and it's from the 90s, man. I don't care. There were games released back then that had realism. Enough that it passed for realism anyways. This pure arcade madness, silliness, stupidity. But if you're trying to round out your collection for retro gaming on the Sega Genesis, get it. Don't pass it up. But if you're not wanting to waste your money on the game because, you know, you want to spend it on better things, well, do. So, guys, I'm not a fan of the game, obviously. Never have been, never will be. But there are people out there that are going to look at me and say in this video, Dude, that game was the bomb back in the day. I was totally, you know, 
racking up the points and stuff. Or maybe I, you know, you know, just great. There are people like these type of games, and they lo that love that game particularly. I'm just not one of them. Don't don't hurt me for it, please. Don't. No. Anyway, so guys. If you like this show and you want to help support us, go to patreon.com slash notesandnerds and you can donate or pledge $1 a month or more. It doesn't matter. Uh, we love being able to fund what we're doing. Um, and if you can help us do it, that's even better. That money goes to helping us buy more video games and consoles for retro gaming nerds, food for uh, Nom Nom Nerd, uh, our expenses for notes and nerds when we're traveling to conventions and concerts uh, music hour with nathan smith when he's interviewing celebrity bands and up-and-coming bands and also helping cover expenses for our guests for the existential nerd when i have guests again but anyway patreon.com slash notes and nerds you can also find the link here on our video you can also find it over at notes so guys please help us help us out just a little, please. Anyways, I'm Eric, and this has been Retro Gaming Nerds.